I'm off to a mining town soon, so I thought we might create an appropriate game for them. You just have a look here, it's called Mining Boom, and it's uh, designed particularly for older uh, students. As you can see here, it's about the idea of squaring and square roots. And as such, it builds on your table facts that you learned in year three and four and got faster out in year five. And so square roots are, sorry, squaring is mentioned in year six and square roots are mentioned in year seven in the Australian curriculum. So at the top end of school, you can be practicing some of those table facts because let's face it, you know, a squaring eight is just eight times eight. So it's just the eight times uh, table. On the back, it's going to look like with most of my games, I've got some teaching notes sitting here and what I have is a bit of a logbook, so you can uh, follow how the progress of the game goes, and you can see, uh, uh, use this for assessment purposes. I thought I might mention that Mining Boom is a little different to some of the other games I've created, particularly as it's used with older um, students. Basically, you begin with a certain uh, tonnage of ore that you start off with here, and if you land on one of these booms, you lose 10 ton or whatever it tells you on the boom. So along the way, you either gain some tonnage or you lose some tonnage. What that means is it's not necessarily the first player to finish that is the winner of this game. It's the player that arrives at the destination with the most tonnage of iron ore. So there is an advantage of finishing first because you gain extra amounts, but it's not necessarily the quickest child that wins the game. It's the one with the most tonnage. And that's why, if you notice on the back of this game here, we've created this log book so you can keep track of how many, what the change in the load is, how many tons have been added and how many have been subtracted. 